Welcome to DB Shuffle. Today we're talking about the most renowned villain in Dragon Ball Universe, Frieza, because of his notorious antics. And of course we all love him. Since you guys have liked our previous Frieza videos, we hope you will love this one as well. Frieza's quotes reveal his unyielding ego, his contempt for anyone who dares to challenge him, and his sharp, often venomous wit. Yes, I could reach a power level of 1.3 million! <laughs> Each line in this list not only brings depth to his character, but has also become iconic in the Dragon Ball Z fandom, capturing the high stakes, intense emotions, and philosophical clashes that make the show unforgettable. So without any further ado, let's get started. At number 10. This harsh insult is one of Frieza's frequent verbal attacks against the Saiyans. He says it with both disgust and anger, a way to dehumanize and belittle his enemies. Frieza's hatred for the Saiyan race isn't just strategic, it's deeply personal and entrenched in his superiority complex. By calling them monkeys, he reduces them to something less than human, something unworthy of respect. The racial undertone highlights Frieza's belief in his own elite status and underlines the psychological aspect of his cruelty. It's a harsh reminder of Frieza's views on the lesser races, making this line both powerful and chilling. Blast it! It can't be true! What's he doing? At number 9. Frieza utters this line multiple times, each time convinced that he finally has Goku defeated. His confidence only grows with each statement, and he takes a certain pleasure in the thought of ending Goku's life. The repetition of this line reveals Frieza's obsessive desire to finish Goku. It's a reminder of his unrelenting pursuit of dominance and the satisfaction he takes in eliminating those who stand in his way. Each time he says it, he truly believes it to be the end, which creates a tension for viewers who know Goku won't give up so easily. The line serves as a testament to both Frieza's persistence and his underestimation of Goku's determination. Each instance building suspense as we wait to see if Goku can endure just one more attack. Oh my, what's the matter, big guy? Did you expect a fairy tale ending? What Number 8. Goku, fueled by his determination to protect the innocent, declares himself as the hope of the universe. Frieza sneers, dismissing Goku's ideals as nothing more than naive foolishness. Frieza's utter rejection of Goku's ideals captures the stark difference between the two. To Frieza, strength is all that matters, and ideals like hope and justice are just laughably useless. This moment cements the ideological divide between them, as Goku fights for others, while Frieza fights only for himself. The derision in Frieza's voice reveals his cynicism and warped worldview. His scorn isn't just a dismissal, it's a cold reflection of his belief that heroism is weak. An irony given how it will ultimately be his undoing. Number 7. Frieza often mocks the Saiyan race, but this line comes during his psychological breakdown of Vegeta on Namek. As Vegeta fights him desperately, Frieza coldly remarks on what he sees as the Saiyan's inherent stubbornness and stupidity. This line perfectly captures Frieza's disdain for the Saiyan race, a group he sees as beneath him, yet cannot ignore. Frieza's fear and hatred are tied to a prophecy about a Super Saiyan who would rise to challenge him. While he mocks Vegeta here, the line is tinged with his underlying insecurity and prejudice, which he masks with cruel words. Frieza sees Saiyans as powerful but foolish, unwilling to accept his obvious superiority, a sentiment that will ultimately come back to haunt him. The proof is in the pudding, don't you think, huh? Number 6. In the battle against Goku, Frieza taunts him by using his advantage in outer space to gain the upper hand. After blasting Goku, he boasts that Goku will fall to his death, unable to breathe as he descends. Frieza's overconfidence in his natural abilities highlights a key flaw. He relies on advantages he didn't have to work for, underestimating Goku's resilience. This line underscores Frieza's hubris, showcasing how he clings to physical superiority and his biological advantages. But as the fight continues, we see how Goku's dedication and hard-earned skill threaten Frieza's self-image, making this taunt an ironic twist on who ultimately has the real advantage in battle. Don't tell me that the great Super Saiyan is throwing in the towel already. What? Number 5. 
Frieza expresses genuine frustration as Goku repeatedly defies his expectations, not just surviving, but continuing to grow stronger during their fight. It's a rare moment of open resentment. For Frieza to admit that Goku, a Saiyan, bothers him on a personal level, reveals just how much Goku has gotten under his skin. It's a subtle but powerful moment where Frieza lets slip his mask of calm dominance, and we see his irritation with someone he considers inferior. Goku's resilience threatens Frieza's worldview, and this confession marks the transition from a mere battle to a deeply personal rivalry. The pride and ego Frieza held are now intertwined with a bitterness that only Goku can provoke. It's too powerful! <laughs> Number 4. After enduring a humiliating defeat, Frieza drops all pretense of calm. This line is uttered in raw anger as he swears to make Goku pay for challenging him. Frieza's rage boils over, giving us a glimpse of his unfiltered hatred and thirst for vengeance. It's one of the few times he completely loses his composure, showing that he's more than just a calculating villain. He's vengeful and vindictive. The line turns the fight into something intensely personal. Frieza's usual smugness fades, replaced by a primal fury, and it's the moment he reveals his own fear and frustration. The calculated conqueror is gone, replaced by a wrathful being seeking retribution. And this is the last time I'm going to tell you! Get out of here right now, Gohan! Number 3. As Frieza lies fatally wounded, he can't believe he's been defeated by a Saiyan, an outcome he has long dismissed as impossible. Frieza's last words reflect his ultimate downfall, his disbelief in the culmination of his character's flaws, the arrogance, the disdain for those he deemed inferior, and the inability to see his own limits. His entire identity has been based on the idea of being invincible. And as he confronts his own mortality, he's shattered by the realization that he's not untouchable. This final moment is the ultimate humbling of a tyrant, a haunting irony that echoes long after he's defeated, encapsulating the end of an era marked by his oppressive rule. I gave you some of my own energy. You should be able to move. Number 2. During his battle with Goku and Namek, Frieza grows frustrated and threatens to blow up the entire planet in an effort to end the fight. The threat is supposed to give a sense of urgency to their battle, but it hilariously extends across many episodes. This line is both intense and ironically funny because Frieza's five minutes actually lasts for nearly ten episodes. An unintentional joke that has since become legendary among fans. Yet it also shows Frieza's willingness to burn everything down when he's challenged. It reveals his sheer ego and impatience, thinking a hasty end to the plan would be enough to demoralize Goku. Frieza doesn't realize, however, that his plan will only prolong his suffering. Goku's perseverance turns this moment from a tactical threat to a slowly unfolding disaster for Frieza himself. Hurry up, Gohan! There's no time to lose! Number 1. As the fight escalates, Frieza reveals his ultimate transformation, a sleek, small form that is deceptively simple and extraordinarily powerful. This moment is one of terror for Goku and his allies, as Frieza's true form is finally unleashed. Frieza's final form is both visually and thematically striking. Unlike the other over-the-top transformations in the series, Frieza's final form is refined, almost serene, underscoring the lethal threat he poses. His simple declaration, this is my final form, captures his confidence in his perfected state. It's a haunting moment for the heroes who realize that Frieza has only been toying with them. The line marks a turning point in the battle, making the stakes clear. They're up against Frieza's true self without any limitations. Okay, I know that was a lot to take, probably very heavy too, but this wasn't uncalled for. I hope you guys liked the video as we did while preparing it for you, so please make sure to like and subscribe if you want another video like this and you want to support us, please! Comment on the things that you want us to cover next, who do you want us to cover next, what do you want us to cover next, and we'll be back with another video soon. Until then, we'll see you next time on DB Shuffle.